Um, hey, what's up, guys? Nick White. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. I'm doing all the leak code and hacker rank problems, so I have playlists for those on my channel. Everything else in the description. Uh, this problem is called best time to buy and sell stock. It's an easy problem. A lot of likes. We'll give it a like. It's super easy. Uh, so you have an array for the ith element. Uh, for which the ith element is a price of a given stock on a day i, right? So this is the each day each L, uh, index index of the array is a day, and each value is the value of the stock on the day. So if you are permitted to complete one transaction, we can buy and sell one stock. We divide then we have to define an algorithm to find the maximum profit we can make, right? So if we buy a stock on the first day, and it's you know, it's worth seven dollars, and then we sell it on the second day for a dollar. We're losing six bucks, so that's obviously a terrible algorithm or terrible uh, solution, right? What we want to do is we want to buy for a dollar and then sell at the next maximum value, right? We can't sell, we can't get grab it for a dollar and then sell it um, for seven dollars because that was the day before we bought it, and we can't go back in time, obviously. So, um, what we're gonna do here is you can you can do a double for loop. So you can do a for loop and find, you know, you can check each element. So you start at seven and then you have another loop that checks the difference between seven and all of the next elements that come after it. And then have a max profit variable and keep updating it like that. But that's O of N squared solution and no one's going to like that in an interview. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a variable called minval set to integer dot, um, max value, right? Always set mins to maxes and uh, maxes to mins initially. Um, and then we'll have int max profit. We're assuming these are all positive, so I'm just going to say zero. Okay, so we're going to do our, it's a single scan through prices. Prices.length i++. Plus plus. Um, we're going to do two checks each time. So each time we're going to check if prices of i is less than min val, then we just set min val. To price of I. Pretty standard, right? This is just how you find the min in an array. Like, pretty easy. Okay, otherwise, this is the, well, not otherwise, but this is just another check we're always going to do. We're going to do if prices of I minus min val is greater than max profit, then we reset the max profit. Equals prices of I minus min val. So just pretty much an intuitive algorithm here. Um, you just set the min val so each time we would go from, it would start at seven and then it would go to one and we would check each time, you know, say it's one now and then we're on element five, we would do up oh, five minus one, that's four. So four would get set as the max profit because all we have to return is the max profit. And then, you know, it, the min val would stay at one, obviously, in this case, because one's the lowest value. And then, you know, as we keep looping, we always check if prices of i, so we'd get to six eventually. If six is minus one uh, is greater than max profit, then we, we would reset it, and then we get the max profit. So really easy right here. All you have to return is the max profit, because that's all we're searching for. It's not really, it's kind of like a more beginner problem, I would say. So, um that's pretty much it, so let me know if you have a better solution. Um, but yeah, definitely check out the other problems, and thank you. So, see you in the next one.